discuss Israeli attacks on Al-Aqsa Mosque. I'm joined by Ken O'Keefe, a former U.S. Marine, joining us out of Orlando, Florida. Thank you for joining the program. According to Gaza health officials, 20 people, including nine children, were killed by the airstrikes carried out by the Israeli regime, and uh, many have been injured. What is your initial reaction to this? Well, I'm getting reports on the ground. In fact, that's my family in Palestine. I am Palestinian, and I will always fight for Palestine. And the Samuni family, which I have the most intimate connection with, I am like a father to many of those kids. Right now, they are being bombed, and they are under the most severe threat in the area of Zaytun. Zaytun is always split by the Israelis because it cre it's the middle of the Gaza Strip. And they use that as a base because it's farming land to be able to launch even more aggressive missions. And back in Operation Cast Lead, well, dozens of Samuni family members were murdered after being ordered into their home. And then ultimately over 100 members of the family in that home were hit by three rockets from Israel and denied medical attention for several days. And many died in the house. Many were lying, their parents were lying next to the dead bodies of their children and vice versa. So this is happening in Gaza right now. So whatever it is that you're wondering about in the West, oh, maybe you don't have the three-car garage or whatever it is, there are people dying and U.S. taxpayers are paying for it. Make no mistake about it, we pay for that. Mm -hmm. And according to Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, he labeled uh, this whole attacks as uh, uh, because the Palestinians have crossed a red line, and that's why, uh, by firing on a Jerusalem area for the first time since uh, a 2014 war. Uh, but uh, no casualties, no damage have been reported. Now, my question is, if even if he is correct in that, um, isn't this a disproportionate response? It is war crimes, crimes against humanity, and 100 percent, I mean, the list of crimes committed by the Jewish state of Israel are so absolutely off the charts that it couldn't even be measured. But we still don't have the law operating in the world, do we? And my birth nation, the United States, will also be paying for many crimes in Afghanistan, Iraq, even Vietnam. You can go on and on. There are children being killed and body parts are flying in Gaza because well, courtesy of the U.S. taxpayer, Netanyahu, of course, the man should be rotting away in a prison for the rest of his life, and that would be kind, but uh, he gets the favor of all of our governments in the West. He gets cover from us and money. Mm -hmm. And this all happening around us, and the international community is silent about it. Germany, France, and the United States, I'm just quoting, they call on both sides to show restraint. How do you comment? Be restrained while you're being bombed and your body parts are flying. It's an insult to all of us who know the truth. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, as a, 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 a Palestinian man named Jesus said long ago. Seems like many don't want to face the truth. Jack Nicholson said it in A Few Good Men. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Apparently, the Americans can't handle the truth. But boy, oh boy, it's going to come home someday. Ken O'Keefe, thank you so much for joining us. Um, that was Ken O'Keefe, a former U.S. Marine, joining us out of Orlando.